So phone launches have slowed down a little bit now that we're at the end of the year, but one device that has come out recently is a Huawei Mate 10 Pro. Uh, Chris has it right now. Uh, he has the U.S. model, which is not available in the U.S. yet, but it is supposed to be coming to the States sometime in the future. Uh, so, Chris, we've, we've got some questions to ask you about it, but first, why don't you just kind of give your, your quick brief first impressions? Uh, first impressions, the phone is gorgeous. It's really pretty. I have the TPU case on it right now. This is, um, Holly's always pretty good about including a nice case with their phones. Um, but yeah, so this is like the, I don't know if they call it space gray, but it's like a nice gray model. It's shiny. It's all glass. Uh, but the build quality is just so, so dang good. I mean, Huawei, when they make a flagship, they, they know how to make it. <laughs> they know how to make a flagship. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, yeah, so that's kind of my first impressions. Cameras, cameras good, stuff like that. I don't know if you guys have any. any yeah, I was going to ask you. Talk about the camera a little bit. <clears throat> so the camera is weird. They have a uh, the phone uses a Kirin 970 chipset, which is Huawei's new new processor. And I was kind of concerned because the Snapdragon 835 is pretty amazing, super fast. In the in the right hands, the Snapdragon 835 can really really scream. Um, and I was curious to see how the Kirin 970 would perform. Um, <clears throat> speed is great and all that stuff. The camera itself is interesting. It uses a 12 megapixel primary camera for color photos, and then it has a 20 megapixel monochrome. So they're still using that whole setup that they did before. It's uh, branded by Leica. Um, and then they combine the images for like some super sharp clarity stuff. And I'm actually insanely surprised at how good the camera is. It's it's uh it's good not pixel not pixel quality not pixel good i don't think anyone could ever really hope to achieve that but it's like definitely definitely up there it's surprisingly good um the phone uses a uh what do they call it a neural processor like uh like an extra little mini mini processor for ai and um it, it, apparently the camera uses it more than anything else on the phone and the camera uses it to detect scenes it can if you're pointing at somebody it'll detect it's a face and it'll adjust some of the settings accordingly if you're shooting food it'll warm up the colors a little bit and do all that stuff so it's we've seen scene detection on a lot of phones um but it's it's supposedly working more with ai here this time around um and so far i mean it seems it seems okay it's it's doing its job i guess <laughs> uh, i don't know the camera's just good i like it that's good. Um, yeah. So, is this a like a two by one like their fuel full view display? How's that? How's the display working for you? Um, yeah, it's a ten eighty ten eighty p full full HD. It's this eighteen by nine aspect ratio, so it's long and long and skinny. Um, the bezels are pretty small on the front. It's um, the size of it. I think it's a six inch display. I actually prefer the size of this phone a lot more than the Pixel 2 XL. It's like slightly thinner, maybe by like 0.3 inches or something, but it like makes the phone super easy to grasp and hold and I can reach the top a lot easier and it's like, it's great. I love the size and the display itself is, is great. It's an OLED display. Um, Huawei usually doesn't use those very often. On the Mate 10, that's just like a regular LCD. But the Mate 10 Pro with the 18 by 9 aspect ratio, this uses the OLED display. So it's super, super punchy, very vibrant, deep blacks. It's, it's nice. Yeah. That's good. Um, what about like the touchscreen sensitivity and the UI and all that? Um, so the UI is EMUI 5.0. Um, it's running Android Oreo. So it's like one of the first, I can't think of any other phones other than the beta version of like, the Samsung Galaxy S8, their Oreo update is still in beta. So I think this is the first phone I'm used. I, I'm I'm used that is running Oreo. It's actually kind of uh, interesting, and I'm getting surprised sometimes with like uh, some of the Oreo features that pop up, like autofill and stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, it's running it's running Oreo. That's crazy. Um, the UI is still kind of uh, kind of fugly. It's not the prettiest. <laughs> And they have like weird buttons and the pop-up menus are shaped like rounded and with like actual round buttons. And 
uh, I've been away from EMUI for so long that like returning to it now, I can kind of see some of the gripes. I know Joe's always talking about how awful it is. Um, <laughs> it's kind of bothering me a little bit, but um, I don't know. I wish there was like a theme store with like the ability to theme it up a little bit more and just make it look a little more stock. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. Yeah, so you're trying to make it stock with the pixel wallpaper and stuff. Pixel wallpaper. Uh, <laughs> With the pixel icons because uh like out of the box it's using like huawei's which doesn't have an app drawer uh the icons are like shiny chrome metal bronze icons I, huawei thinks that those look very businessy and professional but yeah i just kind of themed it up to try to make it look a little bit more like a pixel and it's it's doing all right just except for like you know the settings and weird little pop-up menus and stuff like that but so the last um, big question that I have is battery life. Oh, freaking A. That's right. 4,000 <laughs> million of our battery. It's huge. And it's so thin. Like it's. Yeah, that's pretty. That's they're, a tank. Where there's stuff in it. I think it's like all battery in the back or something. But it's um, the battery life is, is, is crazy good. Crazy, crazy good. Standby time is insane because. I had it unplugged and just kind of chilling for a couple of days, and it never dropped below 100%. So I don't know what kind of <laughs> kind of always it. juju. <laughs> but it was um, it's it's great. I've been using it um, for for the last couple of days now, and it's um, it's doing amazing. I mean, I'm at like 95% right now, and normally like on my Pixel 2 XL, I'd probably be at like 80%. So it's I want to say double the battery life of maybe a Pixel 2 XL, but I haven't really been able to to really push it. Today, I'm really going to kind of kind of give it to it and see how well, how well it lasts. But <laughs> um, yeah, it's great. And uh, sort of other weird kind of stuff. So the difference between this and the Mate 10 regular, um, the regular just has a regular uh, aspect ratio. What is it, 16 by 9? The Pro has the elongated version. The Pro, uh, the original has an SD card, or the regular version, Mate 10, has an SD card and a headphone jack. But the Pro, which doesn't really make sense because you would assume it did, drops the SD card, gets rid of the headphone jack. Uh, that doesn't seem very Pro-ish. Very, yeah, very they got pro-ish. that mixed up. They got it backwards. Usually the Pro means more features and stuff and all that. But um, other than that, I think it's going to kind of wrap it up for my first impressions. The, the phone is... It's pretty nice. Screen sensitivity, I didn't really talk about too much, but it's kind of odd. Um, it's The scroll lag is great, but um, kind of taps and stuff don't always... Feel like and when you say scroll there. lag is great, you mean it doesn't have scroll lag. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> I love the, the insane scroll lag. Now, so, like, when you're scrolling, the UI follows your finger wonderfully. It's just the sensitivity of the screen itself, I noticed, was off. Um, and I have this weird little test that I do where I take the back of my nail and I try to scroll, and it doesn't <laughs> register it. But on any other phone, or like, say, the Pixel 2 XL, which has amazing screen sensitivity, you can use the back of your fingernail to move around, and it, it <clears> registers <throat> it. So just a little weird little thing there, you guys. Cool. Yeah. Well, that, thanks for your first impressions. Uh, check out <laughs> fandroid.com if you want to learn some more about the Huawei Mate 10 Pro. Um, But this has been the FanCast. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.